I think there's like three main categories of ways it can go super wrong that we could talk about. Number one, AI is aligned. AI follows our instructions. Um, but a human running a powerful country, fighting other powerful countries, decides to horribly misuse it and create a bioweapon or hack into someone's nuclear weapon systems or who knows what. That's not an, This is why we think kind of like why distribution of this is important because these capabilities are coming. And if one bad guy has them and a lot of good guys don't, category one. Um, category two is sort of the more classic sci-fi, you know, the, the sort of like AI. Let's not even call it conscious. Uh, the, but the AI like develops some sense of agency and does not want to be stopped. And, you know, even even if it's just like trying to accomplish a goal and there's no intentionality or consciousness, but it's like, I need to not be stopped by these humans in pursuit of this goal. There's a third category that gets talked about relatively little compared to how important I think it could be. And this is one where neither of the obvious two failure cases happen, but the model in some abstract sense sort of accidentally takes over the world. And you can imagine a way this happens by thinking about what's happening with ChatGPT. So hundreds of millions of people talk to ChatGPT, soon billions, and people are relying on it for more and more important decisions in their lives and their work and whatever. And as these models get smarter, um, maybe right now you ask ChatGPT for advice about your job and sometimes it gives you good ideas and sometimes it doesn't you certainly probably wouldn't let it do your job let's say it gets smarter and smarter and it gives you advice that you still understand but now you think you should follow almost all the time and then it gets smarter again and now it gives you advice you don't understand. you're like why is that the right thing to do but it turns out to be right again and again because it can like see around corners you can't and now you either follow the advice that you don't understand or you are less competitive than your peers and so the model has no ill will it's really just trying to help you you're trying to do good work but like, you're like, mm, if I want to be competitive, if I want to succeed in the world, if I want to live my best life, I kind of have to follow the advice of the model. And so does everybody else. So do the billions of other people talking to the model. So now we're all just doing what an AI system tells us to do. Uh, or, you know, the ones of us that want to be most competitive are. And we are creating new training data that's going back in the model. It's continuing to learn about society. All of society, all the economy and the model keep going in this sort of improvement loop. And who's really in control of that? 